Nem is hatal. <laughs> All right, we're almost three and a half miles in. Kind of thinned out just because I've passed. But they're right behind me. So, sun's coming up. It's humid, but the air feels nice. Kind of on the ridge here. Too much water. All right, just past the first aid. I have Soren and Daniel behind me. Ooh. And leaves are all over the trail. So far, we're good. Actually, who? Who's in the back? Oh, okay. Soren did fall. NDA, Reese. Just a sign of NDA. So first aid and oh almost at mile seven. Check back. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, that was an epic fail. <laughs> I know. So first view of the day. And it's super humid. <laughs> Yeah. Still have Daniel and Thorne with me and a few other people up. Oh, somebody coming in hot and leaving. <laughs> Just over mile 10. Definitely runnable. Just a bunch of up and downs, up and downs. We're going down now, so. But we're on the edge here, so definitely have to pay attention to your footing. We just left the second aid, mile 13. Time to climb up overpass and then the railing on the trail. Wait, we have to go over it? Back on the trail. Look at my five chickens, you're not going to all offend us. Yeah, what? You know you want to. So, we're on mile 23. I guess we're going to kind of road 24, the lake to our drop bags, which is around 1.8. 
Well, super humid today. Waiting for it to storm. Just me and Soren now. Kind of thinned out. Should be storming shortly in the next hour, I guess. Trail is definitely covered. We both have fallen a couple times. Definitely kind of a relentless up and down. You're either hiking up or running down. It looks like we I'm in 4300. I'm down 43. So, getting it done so far. About mile 35. And we're getting ready to climb up to Bald Rock. Highest point in Alabama, so they say. Trail is definitely covered with leaves. But I feel like we're close to the top, so the mileage has been coming up slightly short on my watch. But Melody and Daniel are in front of us. I think Bruce and Deanna are in front of them. And then leaving that last aid station, we saw Mark and Derek. I feel like it's just a hike to get this section done. But I think it's around 3 o'clock. So we should get up and then down the rocky section before dark. So that's a good thing. Starting an hour earlier helped with that also. So, but the leaves, colors are beautiful. Of course, it's definitely a little relentless. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. Not many flat sections yet. I'll get a little running after we climb down. I think mile 42 has pavement for a little bit. We should be getting close to the top. Let's see. Finally cooled down and got windy. A storm's supposed to be blowing in. But... Oh, okay. So we're only a mile away. All right, one more mile up. And then we'll climb down. down this must 
see where we pop out at the lake. Yeah. Right, rolling along in the Hubbard Creek Aid Station. I don't know, 50 something, I can't remember. But we shouldn't be too much further. There were some sketchy parts back there. And now, it's a little easier. Super windy. I never got poured on. So looks like it's rained in places along the trail, but not too bad. Still running with slime. Early in the night. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess. It's 720. So just the beginning of night. Feeling pretty good so far. Alright, check in later.